Nick Hamilton here with Candace Parker. Um, great victory against the world champs tonight. Um, seemed to be a pretty physical game throughout. Were you guys kind of expecting that? Was that the mindset you guys were going into when you, uh, you know, went up for the tip? Well, every time we play Seattle, we know that it's a very physical game. We know they, um, they're very physical in the post, and every time we've played them, it's been you know, like that. So we prepared, you know, we prepared well, and I think we did a good job matching that. How bad did you want to get back in in the fourth quarter, even though your team was up by a large amount? I was cool on the bench. <laughs> I was cool watching them do their thing. I think uh, it's fun sitting there and watching people um, do well. You know what I mean? So I think that you know the coaches made their decision, and it was a good one because we were able to extend the lead. All right, let me talk a little bit about Jantel's play tonight, just her coming out and the way that she played with 10 points. Well, I play against uh, Jantel every day in practice. I know exactly what she's capable of. And, you know, she's a beast in the post, and I think that that's, you know, what she showed today. I think all she needed was repetition and minutes, and she got that, and she played phenomenal. Last question. Today being Father's Day, of course, uh, wrote a brilliant piece on your husband, Sheldon Williams. Um, what was his reaction to the piece, and did he know anything about what you were composing, you know, before it was released? Uh, he knew a little something about it, you know, but um, I think it's very special. And I think that a lot of dads get, you know, no credit for, you know, being great fathers. And I think that, you know, he steps up and does the everyday things that need to be done and is a very hands-on dad. And I'm, you know, really happy that, you know, it's Father's Day and we're able to honor that. Well, congratulations on the victory. You had 10 big points tonight, a very balanced attack. And uh, we'll look forward to you on Tuesday. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> you know, for us, it was a, 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 bad, a bad game. Um, we just, uh, you know, we knew what they, their strengths were. And time and time again, I think we just had moments of, you know, lapses where we let them do what they wanted to do. Um, and obviously lost. The three-point shooting, I mean, was that a desperation type of thing? Or why? I mean, did, yeah, I mean, you guys were for 11 in the, in the first half. I mean, um, it seemed like you well, were throwing up zone. a lot more. Yeah, you know, I think uh, they probably watched the film from our last game against Indiana, and uh, they went zone for, for most of that second quarter. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it slowed us down. It's, it's something we have to work on, you know? I think um, right now we're just kind of... Uh, it's going through it a little bit, you know, and, and as a team, we just have to kind of stay with it and, and, and figure ourselves out, you know, what kind of team we want to be and, and go from there. Um, you know, it sucks to lose that in, in that manner, you know. Nick Hamilton, here. Um, what did you see uh, from this team? this year than you didn't see last year. I mean, it was pretty physical at uh, the Sparks. They're just, uh, they seem very, you know, hungry, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, very motivated, you know. They play hard every possession. They're, they're very versatile. Um, you know, at one point when they had that big lineup on there, you know, not only were they big, they're all three-point shooters. Um, and it's difficult to guard. And I think that's really, in the second quarter, they were able to run and get open looks. And that kind of, they separated themselves then. Uh, we were able to cut it, but, you know, they just kept on, kept on. Um, and they're tough, you know. They've got some great players on that team. Did you expect me and the world champs? Did you guys kind of expect the physical game? Um, the physical side, I mean, for me personally, I, mean, I don't really see it a lot. Uh, but it was, it was, it felt the same. Um, you know, it, it was uh, not always, always the calls that we wanted. But in, in terms of the physicality of the game, um, it didn't feel any different from from another game, from any other game. I definitely think we had a good week of practice, but um, tonight I think our starters just pretty much set the tempo for the game. They came out, they played extremely hard, and I think that they, you know, set the table for the rest of the players. So we want to just come out there, match their energy, play great defense, and that's what we did. What does a win like this mean for you and the rest of the ball club going against the world champs like that? It means a lot. Um, it, it definitely builds confidence um, for coaches, the, the players, you know, because, you know, for a coach to be able to go 11 deep on her, her bench is just pretty unbelievable. A lot of teams can't do that. So just being able to do that and then have a 24-point lead like that, you, you just can't get any better than that. How were you um, comfortable in the offense tonight versus the last three games? Well, I think it, it, it came from, you know, being able to get, get kind of a flow in the game. Um, 
just being able to run up and down a couple of times, you know, get get position, and um, I got the ball. So it was just it was it was just fun. I don't know. I guess I just got a rhythm early, you know, when I got in there. Well, congratulations on the victory, and uh, we'll see you Tuesday. Thank you very much. Thank you.